we want to simplify the trig expression to the product of trig functions. Notice how here we have a difference of two fractions. In order to add fractions, we must obtain a common denominator. Right now, the first fraction has a denominator of the quantity one plus sine x, and the second fraction has a denominator of the quantity one minus sine x. So because these denominators don't share any common factors, the least common denominator is going to be the product of the two denominators. So to obtain a common denominator, we'll multiply the top and bottom of the first fraction by the quantity one minus sine x, and we'll multiply the top and bottom of the second fraction by the quantity one plus sine x. So we have one over the quantity one plus sine x, now we're going to multiply the numerator and denominator by the quantity one minus sine x. We'll have minus one over the quantity one minus sine x. And for this fraction, we'll multiply the top and bottom by the quantity one plus sine x. Notice by doing this, we create equivalent fractions, and now we have a common denominator. So we can now subtract the fractions. The denominator is going to be the quantity one plus sine x times the quantity one minus sine x. And the numerator is going to be one times the quantity one minus sine x, or the quantity one minus sine x, minus one times the quantity one plus sine x, or just minus the quantity one plus sine x. Now let's clear the fractions in the numerator and combine like terms. Because of the subtraction here, if it's helpful, we can think of distributing negative one. So we have one minus sine x minus one minus sine x, which equals negative two sine x. Again, we have one minus one and then negative sine x minus sine x, giving us negative two sine x in the numerator. And now let's find the product in the denominator. So we have four products, one times one is one. One times negative sine x is negative sine x, but then sine x times one is positive sine x. So negative sine x plus sine x is zero. And then we have sine x times a negative sine x, so we have minus sine squared x. Looking at the denominator, because sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals one, notice how if we subtract sine squared theta on both sides, we'd have cosine squared theta equals one minus sine squared theta, which means one minus sine squared x is equal to cosine squared x. So this equals negative two sine x all over or divided by cosine squared x. So we have simplified the expression, but we want this to be a product of trig functions. So let's rewrite sine x over cosine squared x as sine x over cosine x times one over cosine x. So we have negative two times sine x over cosine x times one over cosine x. This is helpful because sine x over cosine x is equal to tangent x, and one over cosine x is equal to secant x. So the given expression is equal to negative two tangent x secant x but we are asked to write the functions in alphabetical order and use the multiplication sign between the functions. So because S comes before T, let's write this as negative two secant X times tangent X. I hope you found this helpful.